The router is the most versatile tool in the woodshop. You can use it to make molding, you can use it to make rabbits and dados and profile cuts, roundovers. The possibilities are limitless. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to use a plunge router the safe way. Grab your eyes and your ears and let's get started. The first thing you do is put the bit you require into your router. Then simply place the router into the plunge attachment by opening up this little lever on the back, slide it in, and lock it down. The first step is setting your zero. We're going to start by loosening this little knob and sliding this bar down. Make sure this bar is loose. You can see that you can adjust this little piece on here and the whole bar slides. And then right below it is this little step down. And these are quarter inch increments. So we wanna make sure that this is set to our lowest setting, which is right here. We're then going to place the router on the surface, push down on the release lever and push the router down till it meets the surface of our wood. Then we release the lever and that we're at zero. So now I won't be able to push the router down any further than, than this mark. Our bow ties are three quarters of an inch thick and we are going to put them a half inch deep into the slab. So now that we have our zero, we're gonna loosen this knob and slide this bar up to half an inch and then we're going to lock it back down again. Now you can see here, this is up one half an inch from the stop block. So we're gonna raise the router, make sure this is tight, and then we're gonna test to make sure that we are exposed half an inch at the bottom of the plunge. So we're gonna push down on this. Now you can see we're back at the bottom of our stop and the bit is sticking out half an inch. Now the trick with the router is to take off a little bit of material at a time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our cut using a quarter inch, and then after we cut everything out, we're gonna come back over and we're gonna reduce it another quarter inch and make a second pass. And that's how you use a plunge router. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you would, give it a share. I'd really appreciate it. Now go make some man glitter.